How do I get calcium with a plant-based diet? Hey, in case you don't know me, my name is Jason Cheney, and I'm one half of a husband and wife team, and we're dedicated to helping you reclaim your physical and financial health, and I specialize on the physical side. So today's question was, I'm fairly new to plant-based, and I just need to know how do I make sure I get enough calcium? And so it's a great question, and it's really good that you're looking at making sure you're getting your uh, minerals and nutrients in. And so just wanted to go ahead and break that down. To get calcium is really simple on a plant-based diet, and I'm gonna show you a quick way to get it in easily within, uh, one, you can start your day off with having 100% of your calcium. And so the way calcium, it, you can get it from dark leafy greens. Some of the best source, sources are broccoli, kale, uh, Brussels sprouts. You can get it from asparagus, okra, those are good also. And then you can also get it from spinach and uh, bok choy and greens such as turnips and mustard greens. They're just a little bit uh, lower. Uh, kale, Brussels sprouts, and those give you about 8 to 14% per half a cup cooked. You can also get them through um, beans, lentils, uh, chickpeas, all of those have uh, calcium in them. You can also use um, another way is doing, uh, doing seeds. So like I like to use chia seeds. And so with chia seeds, um, half a cup, I'm a visual person, so I just like to show. So about this much of chia seeds give you 100% of your daily uh, recommended value, value of calcium. And so how I do it with that, I start my day off with a smoothie where I put in, um, I do strawberries, raspberries, a little bit of protein powder, plant-based protein powder that's clean. And then I also do a Moringa mix. Moringa is very high in, um, in calcium also, plus other minerals and nutrients. And then from there, I add in half a cup of chia seeds, and then I just uh, put in water and just blend it up, and I drink that. So throughout the day, for starting my day, I'm actually hypernourished. I have just about almost all the nutrients, uh, vitamins, and minerals that I need for the day. So after that, eating is just getting excess. And that was one of my uh, ways that I actually started reversing a lot of issues that I had. Because um, that's one of the things that's different between a plant-based lifestyle and all these other different type of diets and fats that out here. If you hypernourish enough, you're going to not only see results and getting better and feeling better, you're going to start seeing reversal of a lot of things that they say that can't be reversed. So like how they told me I'll be on blood pressure pills for the rest of my life. I would have to use a CPAP machine the rest of my life. I would never be able to walk again without um, needing the use of a cane or something. All these things started to reverse because I was hypernourishing on a plant-based diet. And so I was cutting out all the other junk and just making sure to give my body exactly what it needed at a cellular level. And so I hope that was really helpful for you. And just think about it like this. If you're thinking about or you're concerned about your health, don't think about what you're giving up. Think about everything that you can add into your health. So like you can add salads, you can add big fruit bowls, you can add smoothies. There's so many new things that you can try. And don't look at it, look at it from a place of I'm getting rid of this. I can't have this anymore. Because the thing is that we're only we're triggered by two things. And there's only two things that motivate us, and that's either pain or pleasure. And just quick question, which one do you think is the biggest motivator for most humans in life? And if you said pain, you're correct. You know, a lot of times we like to think we're triggered by pleasure is what we do the things that we love to do. But the truth is we don't. And if you don't believe how many of us worked a job that you hated and you still went in each and every day because we're triggered through pain. And sometimes with the trying to change our eating lifestyle, it is the pain that motivates us to stay on, on, a, on pace to where we're at. And it's not the pleasure because we don't see the pleasure of being able to get, be healthier, be better, feel better, or even do better. And so it's sometimes that pain of, well, I'm already hurting, so I'm gonna just keep eating what I eat. And this is where we come into self-sabotaging things like that. So really think about it in today's assignment. Just really think about this. Just do this for one day, just today. And what are you eating all day? Just track it. If you don't have pen and paper with you, just use your phone and take a picture of it. What are you eating? What are you drinking? And keep track of every single thing. And it's going to give you actually a good identity of how your eating lifestyle is long term. And then it'll show you the things that you may need to add in and substitute so you can start getting the health that you want. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.